how to add multiple filters to a collection page on Wix. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to add a filter or multiple filters into your website on Wix for a specific collection page. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you're going to be good to go. So what are we going to do is to head over Wix.com, select the website and here we have the Wix dashboard of that website. So once you're here, you're going to click on edit site. So after that, you're going to see here the website uh, opening up here. And what are we going to do here is to see the place that we are going to put here the filters. So we are going to visit the pages and menus. And from here, we are going to see, for example, the uh, reservations or the menus. So we are going to select one of these pages. So make sure that you are going to add that specific one to the um, collection page that you have. In my case here, I have a menu or the reservation. It doesn't matter a lot. So you are going to see here everything set up. Now, what are we going to do is to set up the data sets. How we can do that, we are going to open up the CMS or the content manager. So right there, as you can see, we have the collections that we have, the main and etc. So we are going to click on uh, collections and create a sun collection right there. So we are going to create it from scratch, import it from a CSV or create uh, with AI. So you can go ahead and click on create with AI. So we are going to type in here the collection or the name of the collection. For example, pizza menu. And here we are going to add some uh, about the details of the collection. For example, here uh let's say here i'm going to put it as it is so we are going to click on next and then we are going to have here the data sets so we are going to put here for example pizza name description the price the availability and the pizza image so i'm going to generate the content create here the collection this is the step that you are going to create from scratch remember that i have here uh, put down everything so everything is set so what are we going to do here is to see the uh, name of the cases or the fields. We have the pizza image, we have the available, we have the prices, the description, and the pizza name, for example. Now, what are we going to do is to set this item like this. We are going to remember here that we have the description, the price, whatever. Now, what are we going to do? Here we have the, uh, as you can see, the um, pizza collection. Now I am going to add here to this page, I'm going to add an element. Click on add element. And here we are going to select inputs. So we are going to see here the inputs and we are going to select a drag or drop down. So we are going to see here these. Now I'm going to have here this. Maybe I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Like that. I'm going to duplicate this. So we are going to press control D and put this right here. Now we are going to add maybe some text right there to put up here at the search. So we are going to click on text titles. So we are going to select this as title. So like that, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller or let it as it is. So now we are going to put here the title here, a uh, type, for example, of pizza. So, and here we are going to duplicate that title and put it here. For example, we are going to type in price, for example, price. And then we are going to let it as it is. Now, what are we going to do to the drop downs? We are going to click on settings. And if we want, we are going to set up here the uh, name. For example, this is the placeholder text. We are going to type in uh, here pizza type, for example and like that and here i'm going to click on setting and change the name of it to price for example and then we are going to click on here so basically i'm going to click on add elements again and from here we are going to see the cms section we are going to add here a, a data set so we are going to connect here elements i'm going to add this data set so collection here pizza menu. So we are going to create here the data set. Normally we are going to see the data set opening up. So basically this is it. 
Now we are going to set up here the data set mode to uh, read. Here we have the default or data set name uh, pizza right there. The collection is going to be pizza and here we have it. Now we are going to see what else we are going to do. So basically we are going to leave the data set as it, as it is now. So I'm going to click on here. And then what are we going to do is to click on manage choices. So basically we are going to see here the uh, choices. You can go ahead and edit the labels of them. So based on the uh, collection that we have. So we are going to select here the collection. We're going to see here what do we have. As you can see, we have some names normally, margarita, pepperoni, vegetarian, and supreme. I'm going to type in these names, for example. I'm going to copy this. And here, we are going to click on Manage Choices. I'm going to edit the label here, margarita. Here we have, for example, I'm going to edit here, supreme. And here we have pepperoni pepperoni and vice versa so i'm going to delete that these are the names that i have put in my mind now for the prices we are going to click on here so we are going to type in the prices for example we are going to uh here put whatever price that we have so let's click on here see the prices that we have so 12 14 so we have 12.99 for example like that I'm going to click on manage choices. It is going to be here from 13.99. We're going to set up here the uh, 14.99, 15, for example, 99. And I am going to delete that. So here we have the choices. Now, what are we going to do is to head over the filter content. Now we are going to set up the uh, database. We are going to click on pizza menu. And from here, the filter is going to be uh, right there for these. Let's see here. So we are going basically to. So we are going to head over the CMS from here. Uh, I think that we are going to leave that part and select from here, manage page or right there, the ma uh, manage content. I'm going to click on here, manage page connection. So we are going to see here the databases. I'm going to select this. And we're going to choose the collection uh, that I have uh, put on from the beginning, the data set name. Here we are going to only set the data set mode to read. The item for load is going to be at least right there 12. Now for the filters, we're going to click on add filter. We're going to add here a filter. We do need a filter. I'm going to wait for it. It will take a little bit of time. Now for the field name or the field, we are going to put here the type of pizza, which is the pizza name. Make sure that you're going to add up here the text. The condition is going to be here contain. And from here, uh, I'm going to put up here another data set. So we are going to see here the uh, data set menus and the, here the field is going to be like that. I'm going to add that field. So we are going to add that filter. And this is it. And now what are we going to do is to click on add another filter. And here we are going to put it here, database contain. Now for the data set, you're going to put it here as two, for example, we have something like the price. Uh, you can go ahead and put not the name, but here the price are going to be number. So uh, I'm going to put it as equal. The price is going to be here. Click on add filter. And now what are we going to do is to close off these, select here the drop downs and select connect to CMS. Now we are going to click on filter content and the database is going to be here that we have chosen. So basically we are going to select this and see here the uh, connection, the filter content by we're going to put here the pizza name and is there as here as it is. Now we are going to select the second one and click on connect to the database that we have set. I think three or two doesn't matter. So we are going to set up here the 
Right, so normally we are going to see that. I'm going to save all of this. So just in case the uh, filters doesn't work just like this, I'm going to let you see here. Uh, I have changed the page, so I have added that to the collection. I'm going to let you see here the previewer, so it will work properly. For example, I'm going to select the Supreme. We're going to see here that it will filter only the uh, Supreme. Like for, for example, margaritas, I'm going to set up all here. I'm going to filter by the prices. For example, the uh, price like that, like this, or something like that. So that means that you haven't added the dynamic page. So you need to add that dynamic page. I will let you see here real quick how to do that. You're going to head over here. Not the elements, but you're going to add here the page. You're going to head over the pages and menus. Click on add dynamic page and then you are going to see the collection that you have added already. So the collection is going to be on the CMS. So this is uh, very simple. You are going to head over here add the collection that I have shown you before. Then you are going to do that. And then what are you going to do is to visit from the pages and menus here the dynamic pages. You are going to see the collection name of it. And then you are going to do the same thing. So you are going to add the inputs. And then you are going to add a data set or click on manage uh, page content. And after that, you're going to add the filters. Go ahead like this. Go here. Go right there. You are going to click on add data set. Then you are going to put up here from the beginning. Collection, pizza name. Create that pizza name like this. And then you are going to click on it. Set up the uh, data mode or data set mode. Add the two filters or whatever filter that you want. Select here another database, put up here, whatever, and it will work. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.